First of all, happy International Women's Day to you, Tabitha. And before we get going uh, of the effect of COVID on Indigenous businesses, let's kick things off for International Women's Day by talking about the bright lights. Give us some of the good news about Indigenous women in business this year. Sure, thanks for having me and happy International Women's Day to you as well. Uh, we have seen a really exponential growth in Indigenous women entrepreneurs, both in the number of businesses that are being created, in the number of businesses that are exporting, in the number of businesses that are employing more people. So where we would have saw higher sole proprietors, we're now seeing more um, employing people. And also in the number of businesses who have revenue over a million dollars. So really exciting uh, news on the scale of growth. You know, and the study, the, the statistics that you guys have at CCAP, breaking down barriers, it examines Indigenous women in business from uh, 2011 to 2019. Notably, how much more uh, women have culture in their businesses, it was 73% versus 55% of male Indigenous entrepreneurs. Um, women, as you just mentioned, Indigenous women are, are also less likely to have uh, business loans and more Indigenous employees. You know, your thoughts on all of this, it's, it seems like this is a lot to get excited about. Yeah, I think, you know, the other thing is also from that same data set is that 83% of Indigenous women-owned businesses rank community and impact on community and their community relationship as their number one priority. So I think, you know, as women leaders who look at the whole being, the whole of our community, the social impact of what we're doing, uh, it's so exciting to see that these businesses are able to thrive and succeed. And also in the collaboration that happens between Indigenous women owners. Um, you know, it's not a competition. It's about how can we support and lift one another, which has actually resulted in some really great success over the course of the last year. You know, not part of the study because, it, as we said, those, that uh, data set ended in 2019. But, you know, uh, COVID, uh, lots of stories out there about the effects, negative effects uh, of COVID on the business community. Uh, how has it been for Indigenous businesses, as, and I guess is it all bad news or is there some, some success stories out there? So definitely, we've done two studies actually specifically on impact of COVID on Indigenous businesses. We definitely do see that more than half have experienced a very negative impact to their business. But in our more recent uh, data, we're seeing things trending a little bit better than they were back in May. And I don't know if that's, you know, as we move into a potential reopening, mm -hmm. or also I think the ability of Indigenous businesses just because of their resiliency to create new opportunities and to take on new opportunities. One of those specifically is e-commerce. So we have seen a number of businesses, uh, particularly Indigenous women owned, that have been able to really take advantage of this new e-commerce platform and haven't actually been able to keep up with some of the demand for their product, which is so exciting. That is a, a happy thing we can all cling to here. That Any, any good news stories at this point, right? right? Well, Tabitha, right. thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to share this with us. Thank you. Thanks for having me.